What's up, boys? So today I actually want to go over a couple of quick things about Hu Tao and how you could build a team around her. Now, keep in mind that a lot of this information is still pretty new. I mean, she just came out a couple of days ago as of this recording. So the, some of this stuff may, you know, develop a little bit more in depth over time, but this should at least get you started when thinking about like what team members to put with Hu Tao. So the first thing that I actually want to do is call out a couple of different characters that I think are staples. These are characters that can always be paired with Hu Tao and perform extremely well. First character definitely we need to call out is going to be Sing Shu. He is going to provide so much utility to Hu Tao because of the way that Hu Tao's elemental skill works. You can't switch off of her once you activate it or else you're just going to forfeit it. So having a support that is going to apply damage off field while Hu Tao is stuck in her elemental skill is going to be like amazing any character that can already do that is already like miles ahead of other characters that can't but Sengshu in particular provides vaporize support which is going to be just flat out amazing so definitely want to call out that he's probably going to be on a lot of the teams that you see today Another character that we should call out is definitely going to be Zhang Ling. Now, I know two pyro polearm characters on the same team, bro, that's kind of weird, but hear me out. If you actually have her at a measly C1, it's not super difficult to get Zhang Ling at a C1. She is actually going to provide a pyro resistance reduction for anything hit with her Gooba attack, which is actually really, really nice. Plus, if you do end up getting a ton of Zhang Ling, which I know a lot of people were complaining that she was even on Hu Tao's banner because they already have enough copies of her, don't fret because even at C6, she does actually give pyro damage bonus, uh, which is actually really nice. And then lastly, we need to call out a Veritas and Veneer support. So this could be anything from, you know, Sucrose. It could be Animo Traveler if you roll with them. It could be Venti. It could be Jean. I guess technically it could also be Zhao, but that's... That's wonky if you're doing it, but hey man, hats off to you for being creative. Long story short, since the bulk of Hu Tao's damage is going to be pyro based, literally reducing the resistance that the enemy has by 40% just because of Veritas and Veneer is going to be simply amazing on her. So all those things put together automatically makes a really solid team. So in the grand scheme of things, we would have Hu Tao as our main DPS. We'd have Sing Shu as our off-field support, we'd have Zhang Ling as an off-field support, but also as a buffer or a resistance shred, whichever way you want to think about it. And then we'd have a pure resistance shred with the Veritas and Veneer user, something like Sucrose or anything like that. That is already going to be a solid team and pretty much going to be like the basis of all the teams that we're going to talk about today. The main concept behind the team that we just talked about would be a vaporized comp. If you just wanted Hu Tao, Sing Shu, Zhang Ling, and a Veritas and Veneer user, you could set that up as a solid vaporized comp. One thing that I find interesting though, is if you were to throw in an Electro user, I guess in theory, Lisa would work here, Razor not so much, but Fischl or Beto are actually going to be very, very good candidates here. I think Fischl is slightly more preferred just because she has the ability to keep Oz on the field, whether it's with her skill or her ult. But Beto is also very good because during her ult specifically, she provides off-field damage. What this actually allows you to do is provide not only a Hydro Aura, but an Electro Aura, and then you can apply Vaporize with Hu Tao. Yeah, you guys see me clicking that, right? And then you provide Vaporize with Hu Tao, but because of the way that Electro Charged works, it actually is going to provide not only Vaporize, but Overload as well. So it's actually really, really freaking good. That's gonna be a Vaporize slash Overload comp, which I think is really, really fun to play. Now, another team that we would probably need to call out is going to be a Melt team. Now, because of the way that Melt works, because we're applying Pyro with Hu Tao, it is going to amplify the damage at a multiple of two. So it is going to do big numbers. And there's technically two different ways that we could go about doing a Melt comp. If you wanted to actually just straight up be able to freeze the enemy, if you are going for like a freeze where you want to, you know, CC the enemy, enemy during downtime of, you know, the cooldown for Hu Tao's E or anything like that, you could actually put Sing Shou in the second slot here and then just run two different cryo units. 
Zhang Yun makes a ton of sense here because coupled during the downtime of Sing Shu, because the duration of our ult here is 15 full seconds and the duration of our elemental skill on Hu Tel is only nine seconds, we do have a weird setup where we're not going to be able to apply pyro during the entire ult of Sing Shu. So the added benefit of having Chong Yun in the team allows us during that downtime to switch into Chong Yun, hit our elemental skill, and then override everything that Hu Tao actually does during that period of downtime and freeze the enemy so that we can actually have a little bit more control. And then beyond that, you could add in Kaya for off-field damage during his burst. You could add in Ganyu for off-field damage in her burst, although I'm not, well, uh, I'm not a real big fan of the Ganyu. I actually did try it and I had really high hopes for it, but the duration that Ganyu is applying Cryo is way less often than something like Kaya. So I do think that Kaya works a little bit better as the Melt Comp, the Cryo Applicator. It, it just works way better for Kaya to be in that position rather than Ganyu. So I wasn't a really big fan of that, unfortunately. Diona is also a really solid option here as well. Not only is she gonna provide shields, which actually helps you, you know, gain a little bit of resistance and tank a little bit more health, but she also is going to be able to provide cryo with her elemental skill and her elemental burst. But if you don't want to run Sing Shu, or if you just don't have him, then you could actually just run double pyro. You could run, you know, something like Hu Tao and Zhang Ling, or you don't even have to run Zhang Ling. You could run Bennett and then run your two cryos as well. Chang Yun loses a little bit of his finesse here because we're not necessarily trying to override everything that we do, but you could run either Kaya and Chang Yun if you like that combo, or you could run Kaya and Diona. Next, we should talk about a straight up overload team. The one problem that I actually found if I was running the Sing Shu, Fischl, Hu Tao, and Zhang Ling combo is that whatever electro character that i was using always struggled for energy really really hard so if we take a look at my beto here i've actually got her strapped with a favonius greatsword just to help get some extra energy recharge on her and to generate extra energy particles it was such a hassle to keep her burst up and because it is a 80 cost for the energy on her burst it makes it a lot harder to play around that. Fischl, like I said, is a little bit more preferred simply because she also is going to have lower energy cost on her burst, but she also can, you know, provide energy with her elemental skill pretty reliably and stuff like that. But it really just depends on, you know, which one you find better. But if we took both of those characters and stuck them on the same team, if we ran something like Hu Tao, Zhang Ling, and both Fischl and Beidou, then we have a ton of pyro energy coming in for Zhang Ling's ult. We have a ton of electro energy flying around because both Beidou and Oz are gonna be generating a ton of energy, and it just works out a lot smoother than if you were running Sing Shu in there, but it really will depend on how you feel about playing that. You could also think about running a mono pyro that's really weird to say pure pyro uh where you run hu tao zhang ling bennett and then either a resistant shredder or you know kind of whatever reaction you're wanting to do on the back end so if you were wanting to do melt as your you know main pyro thing then you could run like a cryo support here the problem with running three different pyro characters in my opinion is going to be the application of this cryo is going to be so few and far between that you're not going to be able to get a ton of use case out of it so that's why i actually think that something like sucrose or a veridis at Vanilla near user in general is going to be really solid. Something like Sucrose or Venti, Gene, or even Traveler would work just fine for that. Or even if you had Zhang Li using his shield to lower resistance of, you know, whenever you're under his shield's effect is actually going to be really solid. And this is one of the better setups where I think Hu Tao would be able to utilize Lava Walker rather than Crimson Witch of Flames and I, it just it would work really really solid I didn't farm out Lava Walker at all for her I went straight for Crimson Witch of Flames so I don't really have any solid footage of this but yeah then last but not least probably the most interesting one that I have seen people talking about is having a combination of Hu Tao and child so the reason that these two are very interesting together is because on Hu Tao's elemental skill we've talked about how it's only going to last for nine seconds the cool thing about child is that he can weave in and out of his elemental skill and you end up getting this really nice flow of switching back and forth between them so that you're able to do a ton of pyro damage 
and then you're able to switch and do vaporize whenever your stance change or you know if you're running around hitting things with child in general and then it, it just creates this nice little synergy between the two of them and it's really really fun to play i think this is probably going to be the team that i would mess around with the most and just try to do like different things with for now but then you can add in something like fischl and beto and have them do very similar things where they are going to help keep each other's energy up and we already know that beto and child together are insanely good because it just creates that taser of electro charged effect and then we can add in official to generate electro energy for beto and beto can just do stupid stuff while you know you're switching in between hu tao and child uh, it is kind of locked behind having both Child and Hu Tao, so it's not like the best of like accessibility things. And there's not really a ton of other Hydro supports that work in that way. Because of the way that Sing Shu and his ult and the durations kind of, you know, overlap in some odd ways. Sometimes you are going to run into situations where Hu Tao and him are going to just kind of be out of sync, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I don't have Mona, so I can't really speak on like how that those two would really work. I don't suspect that they're going to like have a reliable, sustainable DPS like Child would provide if you had Mona instead. And I'm sorry, Barbara, I hate to say this, but I just don't foresee that working very well. But yeah, so that's pretty much like some some ideas for you to you know mull over in your head and see if you can kind of get behind how to you know use your hotel all of these assume that you are building her as your main dps all most of them work just fine whether you're building her for sustainable dps or reactionary dps uh sync nukes you know stuff like that you'll have to kind of tweak and play around with for your own liking but in general this kind of is just like a cookie cutter hu tao in all kinds of different team builds that's gonna be it for today's video guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave you off with a little bit more gameplay hopefully you have enjoyed today's video maybe if you've been on the fence of getting hu tao maybe this maybe sways you a little bit into the yes or no region so that you can save for somebody in the future or maybe you want to just dump all your primos into her now otherwise i'm gonna go ahead and head out see you boys